Aquarius, hello, hello, hello. You are definitely the talk of the town. You're sort of like the talk of the universe. <laughs> so exciting. So exciting. A lot of people misunderstand you and they're getting that broader sort of perspective of you with that whole beautiful age of Aquarius thing that we are all sort of busy moving into at the moment still. Um, so Aquarius, this is your 5 till 16 January general love reading. For those of you that follow my channel, you will know that I have put out a mid-December till mid-January general love reading. So this is in addition to that. You can always check that out on my main handle, Age and Great Life. Um, you also get to see all my beautiful thumbnails over there that are created by my incredible friend, um, who's a graphic designer and social media manager. Um, and let's see what we got for you. Remember, this is a general love reading, take what resonates. If you're on a cusp, um, I always recommend looking at both readings to get a better sense of understanding. Let's see, what's that card that went over there? Endless possibilities. Endless, endless, endless possibilities for you now. That is such a wonderful card. You know, and obviously this is where you are at the moment. And even if you look at the numbering there on the card on the top, 38, you know. Um, I know I'm going to be quite a numerologist now, but I do like my numerology. Um, and But this is really, you know, obviously with 3 plus 8 is 11. Um, and 1-1, one, one, it's about new things, about moving forward, it's about an end of cycle. Um, but then 11, you know, you put 1 plus 1 together, it's 2, it's about a coming together. And then if you look at the numbers individually, number 3, it's all about living, going into that strength of yours, you know. Um, mind, body, spirit, um, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, it doesn't really matter what you call it. But this is you moving into your strength with a, with a triangle being the strongest shape in nature moving into your strength of your soul having a human being experience here on planet earth right now and with number eight infinity sort of going with that and you know something that a lot of people don't often understand is that um, you know, when you want to sort of like astral travel and unlock your third eye and do all these wonderful things, that you are a soul that's having a human being experience. You are a soul that chose to be here on planet Earth at this particular point in time. And as you can sort of like really embrace yourself in that, you know, um, that is how you automatically flow with everything that is because you are fulfilling what with everything in your being, you are embracing life and you are fulfilling the choice that your higher self made to be the soul having a human being experience. Okay, And obviously it only makes sense that things then work out. And then you do actually start to, you know, automatically realize that you were always as so traveling in any case, you just didn't remember it. So your psychic abilities start to expand. All right quite amazing that and if it's your first time to my channel my beautiful aqua babies i would like to welcome you to my channel my name is adrian H. nelson i'm intuitive healer i practice holistic wellness i also do spiritual regression hypnosis and for all of you that have been supporting me all the way through up until now know that ad loves you okay now we are going to look at your recent past, and the reason why we're looking at your recent past, Aquarius, is to see what is the energy that brought you to where you currently are, okay? Um, we want real fundamental answers here. Let's see what we got. And obviously with a love reading, for me, when I do a love reading, it is, um, you know, love, yes, the romantic aspect of it, but how is love affecting your life, and how is your life affected by love? All right. Now, sometimes we think these things are sort of um, separate from each other, but it's all one big energy because we are all part of one big energy expansion. You know, we're not separate at all. I read something the other day and it really made me, it literally made me cry. Um, when you realize the, um, you know, the, the fullness of what you are part of, and it was explaining very quickly that when the sun shines, you know, um, obviously you just see light, but obviously it's got all the colors inside, you just can't see it because it's all fused and merged into one. Until you sort of put it through like a like a triangular, sort of like a pyramid, maybe glass shape or clear quartz crystal or something like that. Um, and um, as it shines through, you get to see all the different colors, you know. Um, I quite like that, like it's like this rainbow colors and you see them as separate. But even though you see them as separate, they're still one. They're still one rainbow, they're still one flow. And, you know, one doesn't exactly look at the rainbow, which is a reflection of those colors and say, there are many rainbows, you know, um, from the suns. It's all one energy. And 
um, this is where you are at the moment that you it's almost like like something is being unlocked in your cells at the moment um, that you just have this flow that's happening for all areas of your life endless possibilities okay so okay and hmm, all right interesting so what brought you to where you um to to where you currently are three of wands page of pentacles and the five of swords so you got to a point in life where you basically got happy with whatever the life situation is going to be your peace of mind your um, mental stability of mind that became your foundation for your decisions um, that became more important to you than being with the right person having yourself thrown left right and center by maybe possibly perhaps you know are you coming are you not coming are you lying are you speaking the truth you were like you know what done with that um, and so where you are at the moment it's almost like this is you holding out for for that one true love for the special love for that special connection that you know that we sometimes think uh, you know, when we sort of buy into the reality of life, inverted commas, um, you know, that you can't sort of have that. This is you realizing but you can have that and being open to that um, and coming towards you, letting go of whatever it is that's really holding you back in life. Whatever it is that's holding you back in life, whoever it is that's holding you back in life, simply releasing it. So I feel this is you very much getting ready um, to be in the perfect space and flow of life and this reading even though we're focusing on love and there's a romantic aspect it's got a stronger focus on your personal sort of view of life okay all right so coming towards you oh sorry the the energy that recently brought you where you are so we're clarifying the three of wands so with the three of wands the first one you got was the four of swords Sorry, the four of the four of ones. My apologies. I got so excited. Um, the four of ones, the page of ones, and the sun. So you pretty much made up a decision here. You know, um, for those of you especially that are not with someone or come from like a, you know a string of disappointments or something like that, you said I will only open my heart to a connection that is good. Um, investment material future investment for my heart for marriage for commitment that is going to tick my boxes you know you're like you know this compromise thing that everybody has i'm going to take the whole scroll of compromises i'm going to roll it up and i'm going to chuck it out the window um and then when you were just about to chuck it out the window you're like hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up, hold up. i've got a fireplace this thing may come back to me because people may realize that it's mine i'm gonna burn it all right um and so once you did um, a lot of cleansing, inner cleansing, releasing taking place here, you know, letting go of sort of like childhood issues, um, possibly some sexual issues, um, abuse, verbal abuse, physical abuse. Uh, there was, there's a lot running here towards, you know, saving this one, saving that one, being with someone because you are saving them in a sense. Um, but what you would obviously call working together, you know um you were like i'm not gonna do that anymore because you realize that, that in itself it's almost like it had this built-in um default mechanism to fail and you were like i'm not gonna do that anymore all right so this was you literally sort of um separating yourself in a sense almost from your emotions that um you could almost like if you kind of like imagine your emotions being like uh like you know like when you get those spacey type of movies like a glass type of thing there's like a garden this is you looking at your emotions from the outside of the glass looking in so what is going on over here what is needed over here what is necessary over here you know and so you've got that sort of clarity about um and, and this is amazing because I feel for some of you, you sort of like went towards, went towards, went towards. So this was you saying, okay, let's take a step back and let's breathe. So this is what I want to have and this is what I'm willing for. And in fact, even though you stepped away, this was you becoming very clear about one, that you definitely want to be with someone. And two, the, this is what you wanted to be with. Okay. No sort of like... Um, 
projects in the making, you know, in the process of becoming type of vibes. This is what you have to be. And so you set your heart out on that. And that obviously sends a very clear message to the universe about what it is, um, you know, what sort of connection it is that you are interested in. And the universe was like, at last, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like at last. <laughs> All right, so let's look at this current energy, this page of pentacles, because for some of you, it's almost like it's beginning to come in now, and it's almost like you're saying to yourself, let's be practical about things. So you don't just want to go and put your heart out there right away. This is the current energy. So we've got the nine of cups, lots of hope there, seven of swords, um, and the two of cups. So you are very much looking at a situation in the sense of there's definitely hope here. There's a lot that you stepped away from and it's it's almost like this love, you know, it's it's touching you, it's it's there, you know, the offer is very much on the table. Um and you are in a sense like, okay, I see what you're doing, but um I'm gonna kind of watch this cat from the tree first, you know, I'm gonna see if you are really as awesome as you appear to be okay let me draw another card for that empress your it's almost like the universe is really supporting your your trail of thought here you know um because whatever's meant for you will automatically come to you because you are now a powerful natural positive match for that so the universe is like yeah do that okay and for those of you that are you know i was going to say for those of you that don't have someone but it's you've got someone in the eye if there's someone there's something you're considering here you may not be telling anybody but and it's almost like you're starting to get your life in order in order to accommodate this love because even though you start of watching it it's still you're realizing that this is it's almost like you know that this is your match you know that it's coming okay it's like yeah tying up loose ends here um the five of swords in your coming towards you uh, uh, mm. nah. <laughs> so you've got the two of pentacles you've got the page of cups and you've got the ace of wands this is things turning in your favor this is i feel that a proposal is actually coming towards you which is what you actually wanted um you wanted that person to make that approach towards you because i feel in the past you might have been the person that always went towards you know so you wanted you you sort of needed that sense of security you, you need it, uh, and, and not in a needy sort of way, you needed to know that this person's serious about things. And so, um, you know, this is going from where you are the one who always has to put in the work to, it's, it's like, like you are being um, romanticized in a sense, okay? And that really opens your heart. So beautiful, you're like, yes. <laughs> it's almost like, you know, what I say, yes. Too quickly, all right. Um, and if it resonates with your queries, then I do welcome you to like the video. I always appreciate your comments. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I welcome you to subscribe to hit that notification bell right here um, so that you know when the readings are coming up. And let's finish off for you with the reading from our beautiful lunar cosmic mother, the moon. New moon, a new start is coming. I mean, it, it can't get any more obvious than that. It started off with endless possibilities, and it says to you that a new start is coming. New moon, beautiful. You deserve it. See you next time.